Charlie! Charlie, how can I can't log on to this thing anymore? What do you mean it needs a special character? What the hell's a special character? Back in my day, we just called them slow. Hello, everybody. I'm Dick Reviewman, and welcome to my roundup of rotten reviews. Now, as you all know, my wife died while choking on a pimento, leaving me sad and alone. But my kids said, Dad, you love the pictures. So they told me to go see some more of them, blah, 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 blah. But there's too many out there. It's so expensive. So my grandkids told me about RottenTomatoes.com, a great website where you can find all sorts of reviews to tell you what you should spend your hard-earned money on. Last week, I saw licorice pizza. Holy crap. I've never seen pointier nipples than when Friends was on the air. Okay, let's see what's on the docket for this week. Nightmare Alley. Ooh, by Guillermo del Toro. The water guy. Oh, this ought to be good. 80%. Jeez. A movie about a corny charlatan who tries to con an even charlatan charlatan, which leads to him getting charlataned right up his con hole. Wow. Well, we better read the reviews, though, even though it sounds pretty damn good. Cathia Woods of Cup of Soul says, Kate can't save this remake. Who the hell is Kate with a C? Hold on. Aichi Mama. Wow, I love that Kate with a C. Okay. Christy Lemire of Film Week, NPR Los Angeles says, The second half is much more enjoyable. But by the end of it, Nightmare Alley left me cold. Two words for you, Christy. TiVo and Snuggy. Jeff York of The Establishing Shot says, There probably isn't a better looking film of the year, but it's far too pretty for a story where almost every character is scum. Just like Congress. <laughs> you just call me John Colbert Noah. What the? What are all these tabs, Charlie? What the? What is Reddit? What is a subreddit? Why are all these guys so pervy? Christy Pushko of Mashable says, This isn't Simon Rex in Red Rocket or Benedict Cumberbatch in The Power of the Dog. It's more Ben Platt and Dear Evan Hansen. It's a gamble that just doesn't pay off. Well, I don't know about any of those movies, but I do know about gambling. My wife one time got kidnapped by one of my loan sharks. May she rest in peace. My wife, I mean. I, I still owe the loan shark 50 bucks. Sarah Michelle Fetters of MovieFreak.com says, The high wasn't worth the withdrawal, and I'm not sure I'll be going back anytime soon for a second hit to see if I change my mind. That's... That's a heroin reference, right? Alan Zilberman of Washington City Paper says, Guillermo del Toro's latest goes for vicious, but struggles from too much ambition and not enough trust. Ah, too much ambition, so Alan's read Macbeth. You guys know Macbeth. It's the one where Hamlet and Othello enter into a thruple with the Merchant of Venice to tame the shrew. Marissa Carpico of The Pot Break says, what should a film about the depths of human depravity and deception becomes a lifeless painting, enthralling to look at, but lacking in substance? You said it, sister. You know I once slapped Andy Warhol with a can of soup? Charlie, Charlie, turn down whatever you're watching. What are you watching? Sex in the City. Oh, better than this thing. Lauren Coates of Cultureness says, Nightmare Alley's struggle to find a satisfying conclusion and its issues with pacing take a fascinating premise and reduce it to a muddled shadow of what could have been. Yeah, thanks Obama. Kent Turner of FilmForward.com says, Del Toro's film becomes bloated early on with way too much exposition. Haven't we learned anything from Peter Jackson's three hour plus King Kong? Is that the one with the hairy feet, orcs, and the hot elves? P. 
Peter Sobzinski, holy shit, of eFilmCritics.com says, The lavish production values cannot disguise the fact that this adaptation, for all of its other virtues, lacks the sense of sleazy desperation that the original had in abundance. And that absence pretty much renders the rest of the Enterprise moot. Khan rendered the Enterprise moot, and no one will shut up about that fucking movie. Charlie, did you change my password again? Allison Wilmore of New York Magazine slash Vulture says, It doesn't soft pedal its material so much as it suffocates it with the meticulousness of its choices, with every aspect of its squalor noticeably art directed. Art directed squalor? I love Fox News! I'm going. Come on, someone turn off the router!